okay. I'm very short. Um, I am, are you gonna fix it? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. I'm Alec Boardman. I'm from Millard South. <laughs> and this is Ode to Megan Hensey. Megan, give me your what ifs so that I can turn them into stardust and with my brush, use them to paint a cosmic sky that stretches out to a universe. Megan, the painting that is you is much too large for any canvas or universe to grasp. Megan, I may be agnostic, but you make me believe because someone as big and detailed as you could only fit into your figure with the help of a god. Megan, I promise to hold you just as soon as I'm near because Megan, my dear, you are infinite and my fragile words are bursting from their frames. Megan, I came to you with bruises and scars in the shapes of beetles due to years of mistreatment and people throwing away my trust like a bubblegum wrapper. And you mailed me butterfly kisses that healed them. Megan, you love to count things just for fun. Pencils, days, matching socks, starter letters that were lost in the wash, and childhood books still left on the shelf. You even got me doing it myself with memories, laughs, and times that I've seen you smile. Megan, your mirror has astigmatism. It refracts instead of reflects, so that instead of a beautiful princess, you see some girl who reached for the stars only to get burned by finding out that they're full of hot gas. Megan, I want to be with you, and with my fingers caress the parts of yourself that you deem unlovable to show you just how wonderful you are to me. Megan, I am a contestant on The Price is Right, and I won the grand prize by picking the suitcase with you in it. <laughs> my Meg Megan, my love for you came over me like a Michigan snowdrift so big and unexpected that you take a break and enjoy it. Megan, I thought of you when I bought a heart-shaped spatula and hoped that I could use it to cook the burrito of us. We stuffed that thing full of compassion and humor, then we burnt a little on the side, but we called it growth instead of throwing it out. I am so glad that we kept it past the expiration date because you are not worth any of these metaphors. You are worth so much more. But Megan, since I love the smile on your face when I read you my poetry, I will write a few more. Megan, I could swear you're an opossum because the only way you could have found me is by digging through the trash. I don't deserve someone as perfect as you, but the proof is in the fat-free vanilla pudding that we found each other anyway. <laughs> Megan, the only downside to being with you is that you're so far away. I hate being long distance because I can't wipe away your tears or kiss you and feel the fireworks between us or anything romantic like that. But Megan, it helps a little that I can wear my pajama pants on Skype call dates and you won't judge me because you're in yours too. <laughs> Megan, most of all, the point of this is that I love you and nothing can stop me from screaming it so loud that you can hear me 748 miles away. Yeah! yeah!